Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Anderson Lane. If this is your first time here, please like and subscribe down below. And don't forget to click the bell notification button so that you don't miss out on any of our content. I've had a lot of friends asking me questions lately about traveling with your kids and how to get through the airport and flights with kids. So I came up with 10 tips and tricks for you guys to use on your next flight with your kids to make it through without the stress. Tip number one, talk to them before your flight. We took our kids on their first major flight last year. We made sure that we talked to them about everything that was going on. We talked to them about how we were getting to the airport, what it was gonna be like going through security, what it's like at the gate, getting to see the airplanes, what takeoff and landing were gonna be like. This way, they knew what to expect. Also with this, it doesn't hurt to go on YouTube and look up vlogs of people flying with their kids. This will let your kids see that, hey, the flight really isn't such a bad thing. Make sure you watch them first, because some of those flights don't go so well. Tip number two, pack a carry-on that they can carry on. My kids each take a carry-on that they can pack themselves. This way I don't have to be lugging their carry-on around through the airport. They own it, they know what they have in there, I let them help choose the items that go in there, they know that it's theirs and they're in charge. Now, five essential things to put in this carry-on. One, a comfort item. So this can be a stuffed animal, a blanket, a pillow. We always take one of these with us so that the kids can feel comfortable on the flight. Number two, water bottle and snacks. You can't take drinks into the airport with you, but a water bottle is a priceless tool, plus you can use it on your vacation. Just make sure that it's empty and make sure it's not the kind that if the pressure changes, they spill out. I like to pack all my snacks in like a gallon size Ziploc bag. This way the kids have easy access, they can pull it in and out of their backpacks easily and then there's a place for their garbage. When the flight attendant comes around, if they're all gone, they can just throw out the garbage in the bag that's already in the Ziploc bag for them. Number three, headphones and electronics. Some comfortable headphones are a must have. If your plane has a video going, this may make your life so much simpler. Make sure that you pre-download any books, games, or movies that you want them to play with. Number four, activity books, coloring books, and small toys. I suggest not taking anything that has small parts or loose parts that go with it and nothing that rolls. Number five, take a change of clothes for your kids. This doesn't have to take up a lot of room, just a simple, quick change of clothes because accidents happen. We'll leave it at that. Tip number three. This has to do with take off and landing. Some kids have trouble with their ears popping and taking off and landing with the pressure change. So a couple things that you can take to avoid this are gum, suckers, gummy candies, fruit snacks, or binkies. This will help your kids' ears pop as the pressure changes so quickly. Tip number four, early boarding. Most airlines allow parents with young children to board early. So if your airline carrier does not, don't hesitate to go up to the desk and ask a flight attendant if you can get on early. Most of the time, they're more than willing to accommodate you and your kids to get them settled. Know your kids. Some kids, if you get on too early, they're restless. For my kids, it's a time to get them adjusted and ready before the hustle and bustle of everybody else getting on the plane. Usually by the time that everyone else is boarding, my kids are in their seats, and they're settled, and they're quiet. Tip number five, bathroom breaks. We never want to be the mom that has the kid that's screaming while you're landing that they can't get out of their seat and they have to go now. So a couple tips to avoid accidents while you're on the flight. Tip number one, make sure before you board, you take your kids to the bathroom. And then I suggest, as you're on the plane, take them to the bathroom every 30 minutes if possible. Tip number two, if you are afraid of your kids having an accident, don't hesitate to put a pull-up or an under jam on them. These can be a life-saving tool. They are discreet, and if there is an accident, no one is the wiser. Tip number six, bring surprise goodie bags for your kids. You don't have to spend a lot on these items. I usually go to the dollar store or the dollar bins at Target, 
um, and grab a couple things, wrap them up so it's a surprise for them to open when I know that they're getting restless. I promise you that the expense for them is worth it. Number seven, this one has to do with you, mom. All of us that have young kids know that you cannot keep a clean pair of clothes on. On a flight, this can be compounded. There's bound to be a blowout, a throw up, a spilled juice, something, and you don't want to be the parent that's sitting on a flight with poop all over your shirt. But I suggest taking a light change of clothes with you in your carry-on. This way, you don't have to have that embarrassing poop smell all over you throughout an entire flight. Tip number eight. This has to do with seating. I like to rein my kids in when I'm on a flight, but I also like to have an aisle seat accessible. This way I don't have to climb over other passengers or ask them to get out every 30 minutes when I'm taking the kids to the bathroom or when the kids need to stretch their legs. You don't have to go through that awkward can we get out again? Number nine, this also has to do with mom. When mama ain't happy, nobody's happy. So remember to bring snacks with you. Just that little snack can be a saving grace. We're finally to 10. The last tip that I have for you guys is to try and stay calm. Your kids feed off of your emotions and if they know that you're stressed or that you're in a bad mood, then it kind of rubs off onto everyone else. If you can try to stay positive and relaxed on your trip, that will rub off on your children. Hopefully these tips helped you out. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe down below. Don't hesitate to comment down in the comment section. We love to hear from you guys. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you again next time. Bye.